everyone, it's Hannah, and today's video is going to be my vlog from last weekend. East Anglia Yarn Festival happened. Very exciting. I realised I didn't film an intro for it, so I thought I'd do it now. East Anglia Yarn Festival is a yarn festival that has happened for the last three years. It's happened in March. It's happening in March next year as well, so mark it in your calendars. And it happens over in Norwich and uh, at the Norfolk Showground which is an amazing venue for Yancho. It was there for the first time last year, for the second time this year. And it's a great venue for a, a yarn show because the vendors are able to be quite far apart from each other, opposite, uh, which means that the gangways are nice and wide, making them nice and accessible. And it also means it doesn't get too crowded or noisy, um, although Saturday was a little overwhelming, but we'll get to that. I just wanted to hop in here and share some very exciting news. Can't really keep it quiet any longer. Now a bunch of you have seen me. Um, Mario and I are expecting. It's very exciting. I'm um, 23 weeks, which is five and almost six months along. And uh, we are due in July, which is coming up very soon. I know some of you would have already known this. I'm sure I'm gonna get a bunch of comments saying, I knew it. Um, it's not that I was actively trying to hide it. I just didn't share that I was. I mean, I can't hide it anymore. You've probably seen it in the last few vlogs. The belly is very much there now. And uh, yes, we're very excited, very nervous. I'm more nervous than Mario, he's very excited. But that is why I'm doing Advents already. The Stardew Valley collection is the last collection I'm going to be doing for a long time. Well, I say for a long time. I don't really know, I mean, it depends for a while, let's just say. It's the last one pre-baby, anyway, which is why I put quite a lot of pressure on myself for it to do well. Um, it's done all right, so thank you so much if you have supported that. But that is why I'm doing Advents so early, because I'm still planning on doing Advents this year, which you might think is bananas, but I have already started dyeing them up. So I can twist them up when I'm more pregnant and then pack them up when I have a newborn, which might be stupid. Um, but then, you know, I've got a good chunk of time to pack them up and then they should be ready to ship by mid-October, as they have been so far. So that is why that is happening a little bit earlier. But yes, what are some questions that I always get asked? Uh, how has the pregnancy been so far? Physically, the pregnancy has been fine. Um, I've, I was very tired in December. That's why Vlogmas failed. <laughs> I was very tired in December. Morning sickness, I didn't really have an awful lot of, touch wood. Um, I would get a bit nauseated in the evening if I got too, or if I got too hungry. I ate some breadsticks and then I'd be fine. Uh, but for the most part, I've had quite an easy run. Emotionally, it's been a bit more up and down, a bit more difficult. Um, but that's okay. That is pregnancy, isn't it? It's just a bit like this. Baby is developing well. I had another scan today, so I just wanted the scan, today's Thursday, I just wanted the scan today to happen. I was planning on announcing it last week, um, but we had our 20 week scan and then I had to go back this week for another scan just to, you know, double check some things. So I just wanted to make sure that everything was fine before I announced it. Everything looks like it's going okay so far. So that is very exciting. I just need to get my house ready and I just need to spend quite a lot of money buying baby things because as of yet we haven't bought anything. I'm sure there's some questions that I'm going to forget but that is basically, um, yeah, that is the news I wanted to share at the top of the video. It's very exciting. I'm, uh, we're jazzed about it. We do know the gender of the baby. We're not going to shout about it. Um, you'll probably see some of the things I'm knitting and come to assumptions, so. <laughs> We'll come to that at another point, but I just wanted to share that off the bat because, I mean, I haven't seen the footage I've taken, but I'm sure in some of it, I probably look quite pregnant. Uh, thank you to everyone who quite respectfully asked someone else if I was before just coming up and asking me. <laughs> I don't know who you asked. It was other vendors. I don't know who you asked, but... Um, I have people coming up and saying congratulations and uh, and whatnot, which I'm thrilled about, so thank you so much. Um, but yeah, if you've got any more questions, let me know. And uh, yeah, shall we get on with the vlog? Yeah, I'm pretty sure I start filming in the car on the way to Norwich, so 
Let's go. Hello, I've just realised I've not actually spoken to the camera today. Uh, we have arrived in Norwich. We are in our room. I booked the wrong hotel. I didn't book the one opposite, like I was meant to. We booked the one which is where the very first East Anglia Arm Festival was held. That's entirely on me. But we went, we are all set up, ready to go, and uh, it's the knit night tonight, the big stitch night, which is what we did last, uh, last year. I'm taking my jumper to knit. I don't know if I'll finish it for tomorrow. I will not, I will not finish it tomorrow for tomorrow. But uh, first of all, we are going to meet my parents. We're going to go out for dinner because they've come to Norwich for the weekend. Well, they've come for a holiday. And um, yeah, it's very exciting times. So I'm really hungry. <laughs> Let's go get some dinner. Good morning. Today is day one of East Anglia Yarn Festival, officially. I'm wearing a trilogy sweater. I wear it loads. It's very comfy, because I didn't quite get the bottom rib finished of the Nightshade Society sweater that I was going to wear today. So hopefully, I can wear that tomorrow. If I can finish it tonight, we shall see. I don't know. Anyway, I'm uh, a little bit nervous for today, but hopefully it goes well. It was good for me last year, so hopefully it's good for me this year. And if it's not, it will just be a fun time. But, um, yeah, it's beautiful weather today, which is very exciting. Hopefully put people in good spirits. And, uh, yeah, let's do this. Let's hope, uh, let's hope that it, it does well. Last night, the knit night uh, was really good fun. They raised over £1,500 for Histio UK. Is that what the charity's called? Which is amazing. Um, the knit night was in memory of Liv, who was the dyer behind the wool shed, who sadly passed away last year, way before her time. And uh, yeah, it was nice to all come together and do something in her memory and raise a lot of money for charity, which is lovely. Mum and I didn't win any prizes on the raffle. We're both not that lucky, annoyingly, but that's fine. <laughs> anyway, to the show.
hello. I won't lie, I've started to take my makeup off and then I thought, oh, I should probably film. So I've got no eyebrows on and no base. I think I've got no eyebrows on. Anyway, I don't anymore. Uh, and no base makeup, so apologies. But, oh, today was so busy. So busy. Laura, the organiser of East Anglia Yarn Festival, said that they've pre-sold 1,700 tickets for the weekend. And last year, they had a total of 1,400 attendees, I think. So that's amazing. But today was very busy, uh, which was good. It was nice. Time flew by. But um, I'm very tired now. I'm excited to do a bit of shopping tomorrow and uh, have a proper wander around. My goodness, I should never film with my makeup half off. It's fine. It's what it is. We're friends. This is what I look like after a busy yarn show. Uh, Mario's gone to collect the Chinese because we're going to have Chinese. I'm so hungry. Standard, drank a lot of tea, didn't eat a lot of food, but that's fine. It's what I generally do. But uh, yeah, it was a good day. I took about £80 less than I took on Saturday last year, uh, which yeah, I'm absolutely fine with. People are loving the bargain box, people love a bargain. So I uh, ran out of, oh, I don't have any more skeins to go in the bargain box. I sold out of purple dinosaurs in the first 20 minutes, and then green dinosaurs went within an hour and a half. That's entirely my bad. It should have been more of those. I was planning on making more of those, but time got away from me. Uh, and then I was meant to bring more beads so I could bead weave this evening. Did I remember them? I did not. So that is slightly frustrating, but whatever. It is what it is. I'll have to make more for when I have the post East Anglia Arm Shop Festival Shop update, which I'm thinking is going to be not till April. Uh, wait until I've got a good chunk of Stardew yarn done and ready to go. And th then, you know, yes, pre advents post, whatever. Um, but yeah, it's been a very good market, which is good. I've had a lovely day seeing all my friends and having chats and hugs with all of them. And uh, yeah, ready to put my jammies on. I'm going to sleep incredibly well tonight. My feet are singing because I've been stood up all day. And uh, yeah, I'm going to take my makeup off. Keep watching Gladiators, even though I've not watched it, the new series of it at all. But yeah, eat my Chinese when Mary gets back. And just have a lovely, chilled, relaxed night and have a shower. Feel a bit grubby, you know? Oh, goodness. Feel a bit grubby. So I thought I'd take my makeup off. Sit, chill out, have a nice time. Eat my Chinese. And uh, I might try and finish the bottom of that jumper. I doubt I will I actually finish it. I have a backup outfit for tomorrow. Worst comes to worst. So, oh, goodness. <laughs> anyway, I will see you tomorrow. I'll show you some clips of whatever, but I'll see you tomorrow. Because I am done talking for right now. Good morning. Didn't finish my jumper, so we're featuring the fluff nugget today. Um, day two of East Anglia Yarn Festival. The weather is less than desirable, but uh, that's fine. You can't have too many nice days with nice weather in a row, otherwise we'll feel like we're spoiled. But we're all packed up and ready to go and check out and then head on over to the showground. Uh, I need to do some filming of some stalls before people come in and uh, then I'm trapped on my stand. Although hopefully it'll be quieter today so I can do a bit of shopping and a bit of wandering because yesterday I didn't do any at all. So, um, joys of vending. You don't get to do the shopping part, which is probably for the best, truth be told. Anyway, day two. Let's do this.
I was so tired after East Anglia Yarn Festival. I am not used to standing that much at all. This tea is too hot for me to drink. And I'm just not used to uh, being around that many people. It's taken me a few days to recover. And also I was nervous for today's can, but that's fine. But we got back on Sunday, inhaled a pizza, half a pizza, I inhaled half a pizza, and then I had the other half the next morning before breakfast. <laughs> so munchy on Monday. And I slept like a log, it was glorious. And then, yeah, I've just had a couple of days to recover. I do have some bits left over. I didn't make enough dinosaurs, as I'm sure I've mentioned, so we'll be bead weaving some of those for the post yarn show shop update. That won't be until April. I want to get a head start on Stardew Valley yarn, and I want to get a head start, oh, I want to get a bit further into Advent dyeing before I do a shop update, because it gets confusing with orders and such, because Advents are going to be going on sale in May, as they always do. And uh, yeah, yeah, the baby's also why I got an oven. Hopefully that, now, hopefully it all makes sense now I was making such big changes in January. We found out in November. Um, anyway, I've obviously filmed the intro and the outro right next to each other, which is why I'm still talking about babies. So, shall we do a haul? I bought some bits. Of course I bought some bits, I bought quite a few bits. Some of these bits are giveaway bits though. So, starting off, we have some beaded stitch markers from Flame Knits. Not beaded stitch markers. I do beaded stitch markers, glass stitch markers, glass bead stitch markers. I bought myself this little rubber ducky because it was absolutely adorable. And I saw it, sat there, and thought, I need that. I used my, I got a, um, sheep and I got a chicken last year and I use them all the time so I've now got a rubber ducky to join the party but I did also pick up a little chicken this will be in one of the giveaway bundles I've got two for this year and these giveaway bundles are for people who subscribe on Patreon just as a little way to say thank you starting off Mario technically bought these for me I told him to get them because he because there's a Husbands and Boyfriends uh, challenge. I, I guess it started last year, but Mario wasn't in it last year. And it was, you've got 20, I think it was £21.46. It was £20 last year. So it went up to £21.46 because inflation um, to buy something for your beloved. So Mario bought me a skein of this. And then I've got two more skeins as well. This is by Castleview Yarns. And this is Agatha on her mohair silk, mohair silk base, which is 72% kid mohair, 28% silk. It is enough for a jumper. So the goal for this is to hold it with my Through the Wardrobe Yarn Co. No Mourners, No Funerals DK that I got from uh, Selena's Grishaverse, Grishaverse collection. And this is going to be a nice trilogy sweater at some point when I have time to knit. And that's what we're turning to leave is, right? It's only knitting time. It's all free time and only knitting time. No. I know it isn't. But it is this beautiful purpley colour. Absolutely stunning. I love it. I love it. Mm. I'm so excited. Next up, I did a little swappy swap with Helen of Giddy Yarns. This is her Tinkerbell colourway. It's the Peter Pan collection uh, that she has on pre-order or had for pre-order. I can't remember if it's still open or not. Sincerest apologies. Tinkerbell was one of my favorite Disney characters growing up along with Eeyore, which is amazing because I'm currently knitting a, a Nightshade Society sweater, the one that I was hoping to wear on Saturday using Helen's yarn in Eeyore. So now I've also got one in Tinkerbell. This, I've just bought a single skein of this or I swapped for it. Uh, it's 75, 25 Superwash Merino and Nylon. 425 meters per 100 grams and yeah it's this beautiful turquoisey oh, it's just lovely greens and pinks and purples and absolutely stunning I love it oh my nails match delightful also while I was there I picked up this mini skein bundle this is the EAYF yarn uh, EAYF Show Special, East Anglia Yarn Festival Show Special 2024 in the bundle is called Yarn Fumes 
this is the same base as before and you get five 20 gram mini skeins. This is going to be in the giveaway bundle. I've made sure that they are financially about the same, uh, the two bundles. And then to go along with this, I got a skein of Curated Yarn Co. This is in the colourway Vellum on 75% superwash merino, 25% nylon. It's kind of a very light uh, yellow colour. I thought they go quite nicely together. They'd make a nice little cowl or something. Or a little, I don't know, stripy hat, a bit of colour work options. I thought they'd be quite cute together. So that is this I believe is one prize bundle. Oh no and the, and one other thing. I also did a swap with Gem of uh, the Little Grey Girl. Mario saw this colourway and said I really like that colour. I'd like a hat out of it. This is the colour of his bakery business. So we call it Batched Green because his bakery is Batched Bakehouse. And so this colourway is called Clissold. I believe this is high twist DK, 80% superwash merino, 20% nylon. So we did a little tradesies for this as well. It's such a dark green, it's actually very difficult for me to show it off. But this is going to be a hat for Mario, if you can imagine it. Uh, so now I need to find a hat pattern for him. But yeah, beautiful, beautiful green. I really like Gem's colours. Um, she does very good tonals, it makes them very wearable. I got two bags from my neighbour. These are both for the giveaway bundles. It says Multi Craft Jewel. And this is Emma of Make and Fable. Uh, this is, I talk about her a fair amount. She's one of my real life friends as well as virtual pocket friends. Not saying that my Yarny friends are not in real life friends, but uh, this is a friend who lives in Nottingham, therefore I see her on a semi-frequent basis. Um, and yeah, she was next to me. It was her first time doing a yarn show. Uh, she was there last year, but not vending. She was doing workshops. So she was there vending and did a workshop this year. And she was selling macrame kits, beautiful macrame kits. And so I've also, also had some tote bags. So this is one of them. Oh, to craft you all. I just thought it was quite cute and I know how much work went into uh, doing this because she did it on a cricket machine and if you are aware of cricket machines you'll know how much of a faff they are. So that is the one and then I've got the other one which is this one here. Oh there's my card reader. I should probably put that somewhere safe <laughs> instead of just shoved in a tote bag ready to be lost forevermore. I need to go through all my show stuff really. But yeah, and then I also got a very Emma colour, which is um, like pale purple and yellow. I forgot the word for yellow just then. But the picture's really cute and it's got wool and thread and crochet and scissors and all sorts on there. So I thought that'd be quite a cute addition to the giveaway bundle. So I've got two of them. I popped along to Robin of the Crafty Bird and saw this beautiful colourway. It's called Subtle Knife, based on the book, I imagine. And this is on her Cozy DK base, which is 100% superwash merino. It is a lovely dark blue colour with some like tan in, and then loads of people are walking past my window. And uh, dark blues and greens. And I just thought it was so pretty. Very wearable, because I also got a little pom, also from Robin of the Crafty Bird. So this can be a hat. That's the thought process there. So uh, one bundle is the chicken, the yarn, the pom, and also I got this from through um, the little grey girl. It's just a little, little tag for your project bag so you know what's in it. This is hat. Because this is for a hat. You see? Um, and then one of the bags as well. So that's one bundle, and then the other bundle is the minis and the 100 grams gain and the bag as well. Financially, works out the same. Oops. Gotta treat people fairly. But yeah, I love her palms, they're so much fun. So poofy. But yeah, it took me ages to find the right colour, but I think this is a good, a good shout. There's a bit of purple in there, oh, absolutely gorgeous. Kind of wish that I bought a sweater quantity of this colour, but do I need more sweaters to knit? No, I do not. Uh, I bought three more things. I bought these two. 
little out of left wing. These are for me. These are both by The Wool Kitchen on the Amethyst Rainbow Aurora colorway. This is the Kid Mohair base, 72% Kid Mohair, 28% silk, 500, uh, 50 grams, 400 meters, sorry. And then this is a four ply base, which is 75-25 superwash merino and nylon, 425 meters. And they were just both so fun. I thought, you know what, this can be a really obnoxious hat. You know what an obnoxious hat needs? It needs an obnoxious pom-pom. So I went back to Robin after my little shopping trip. I went to Robin one of the first, and then I did my round, and then I came back, because I was gone for too long, because I went round with my parents, and then we were just chatting to all the vendors. And, um, yeah, I was like, oh, I need to get back to Mario. And then I popped across and chose a matching pom-pom, which is pink on the ends, and then blue inside, and I just thought it goes really, really well. It's just a bit, bit obnoxious, but nice. Double check that there's not something else I've forgotten. No, that is everything I've got. So, you know, purchases for self, pretty slim. Not pretty slim. I have at least a sweater's quantity of fluff and then a hat and then a single skin and a hat for Maria. Okay, I spent too much money. <laughs> but that's also fine. Uh, to enter the giveaway, you don't need to do anything on Patreon. I will just do a random number generator because um, I can download all of the people that subscribe in the Biscuit Brew Crew because that, uh, that, I mean, not to exclude anyone who's in the other tier but there's no one in the other tier, they're only in the Biscuit Brew Crew so, um, yeah, I'll just download everyone and then do a num random number generator and then I will message you on Patreon and send you your prize I did this last year, I really enjoyed it, I thought it was a really good fun thing to do a uh, fun way to give back to you for supporting me here and a good way for me to support some of my friends and support some of the other businesses that are vending there uh, without adding to my stash. I get to add to yours instead. And I'm thrilled about that. All in all, East Anglia Yarn Festival was a very good weekend. I really, really enjoyed it. I will hopefully be applying next year. Who knows if I'm going to be able to do it? We'll find out. Mario says yes, quite confidently. So we shall see. <laughs> we shall see. There'll be a baby in the mix, but Verity of Truly Hooked did it for years, so surely I can. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what it's going to be like having a baby until you have one. It's one of those things. So, um, yes, I had a really good time. I took about the same amount of money as I did last year, which is still much higher than any other show that I've done. Um, the other show that I've done all right at was Yarndale and I took about a thousand pounds less so it is still an exceptional show for me I did so um, I'm, yeah thrilled about that footfall was up from last year they pre-sold way more tickets than they did the year before and yeah can't fault it really can't fault it at all I had a really lovely time it was so good seeing everyone even if I can't go and vend there I will probably go to uh, just be there, be someone's booth babe, because it's just a nice atmosphere, isn't it? It's just nice, it's nice. Nice going to yarn shows sometimes, just is. Anyway, I'm going to love you and leave you because I feel like I've taken up way too much of your time. Um, but. I didn't get as much footage as I wanted to as I was walking around the yarn show because I kept talking to people. Sorry, not my fault. It is what it is, I, you know. We all work by ourselves for the most part, so when you're in a room with other people who you have a common interest with, it's just nice to catch up, especially because I see a lot of these people once a year. So, um, yeah. It's just nice to have a natter and a catch up, especially because I've got, I had news. I had news to share, baby news, and what, I can't get over how beautiful these are. Oh, the Wool Kitchen has such stunning yarn. I've never bought any of their yarn, but I've thought it every time about how beautiful it is, so, yes. Anyway, I'm going to love you and leave you, like I said. If you'd like to follow me on social media, links as always can be found in the description box below, along with any other information that I think you might need. Um, and if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments. What have you been up to? 
Have you had a nice time? Did you go to the East Anglia Yarn Festival last week? Have you gone to a yarn show recently? What is your most recent purchase? All of that fun stuff. And um, with all that being said, I don't think there's anything else that I need to say. Thank you so, so much for being here. Thank you so, so much for being amazing. Thanks for being you. And I will see you very soon in my next video. Bye.